Hello, ka math learners. Welcome again sa ating YouTube channel, Learn Math Page. So, ito yung part 5 ng 2013 MTOP Reviewer Grade 6. So, without further ado, let's get started! So, again guys, nagtapos tayo sa number 20 no nakaraan, kaya number 21 na tayo ngayon. Ang ating problem number 21 ay a rectangular box is 2 cm high, 4 cm wide, and 6 cm deep. Michelle packs the box with cubes, each 2 cm by 2 cm by 2 cm with no space left over. How many cubes does she fit in the box? So guys, ang gagawin natin dito is kukunin lang natin yung volume ng box at yung volume ng cube. And then, i-divide natin sila. Okay, so alam natin ang volume, ang formula ng volume ng rectangular prism o ng box, rectangular box, ay length times width times height. Pero ang nakalagay dito, deep. So pareho lang yan. Yung deep means high. Okay? So, i-multiply na natin. 2 times 4, 8 times 6, 48. So, ito ang volume ni box. And then, yung cube is 2 times 2, 4 times 2, 8. So, ito naman yung volume ni cube. Ngayon, ang gagawin natin, i-divide natin sila. So, 48 divided by 8, cancel, cancel, is 6. 6 cubes. So, this is the final answer. 6 cubes. Okay ba? So, again, kinuha lang natin yung volume ni box, which is 48 cubic centimeter. Uh, kinuha natin yung volume ni cube, 8 cubic centimeter, and then divide 6 cubes. Yung nagkasya doon sa box na rectangular box with no wasted space. So, number 22 ta tayo. Next problem, please. The scale on a map is 1 cm is to 25 km. How far apart are two cities that are 13 cm apart on the map? So, ang ating solution dito guys is gagawa tayo ng ratio and proportion. So, again guys, ayon sa problem, ang ratio natin ay 1 cm is to ilang kilometers? 25 equals ang tinatanong is how far apart are two cities that are 13 cm apart on the map so 13 cm is to x kilometers so hinahanap natin yung x so again guys sa region proportion yung mean tsaka extreme ito ito yung mean ito yung extreme imumultiply lang natin sila okay so x equals 25 times 13. So guys, ang ginawa natin, 1 times x, kasi 1 times x is x pa din, tas 25 times 13. So x equals, ilan? 325 kilometers. Lagyan natin ng units. Okay guys, 325 kilometers is the final answer. So again guys, ginawa lang natin yung ratio and proportion, yung mean, tsaka yung extreme, dapat equal sila. So, in-equate natin, nakuha natin 25 times 13, 325 kilometers. So, next question please. Problem number 23. A square and a regular hexagon have the same perimeter. If the area of a square is 36 square centimeter, what is the length of a side of the regular hexagon? Note, all sides of regular hexagon are equal. So again guys, ang area daw, ang given natin, ang area ng square is 36 square centimeter. So kailangan natin malaman kung ilan yung side yung sukat ng isang side ng square. Alam natin yung area ng square is S squared. So, ang area na given is 36 square centimeter equals S squared. So, square root natin guys. Square root. Cancel. S equals 6 centimeter. 
Ito yung side ng isang square. Hindi pa ito yung final answer. Bakit? Kasi sabi yung a square and a regular hexagon have the same perimeter. So alamin natin ilan ba yung perimeter nito. So yung perimeter ng square is 4s. Ang formula, perimeter equals 4s. So perimeter of a square equals 4 times 6. P equals 24 centimeter. So, ito yung perimeter ng square. So, sabi dito guys, ang square daw at ang regular hexagon ay may same perimeter. Kaya natin inequate. Perimeter of square at perimeter of hexagon is 24 centimeter. Alam natin na yung square may 4 sides. Ang hexagon naman ay 6 sides. So, i-divide natin 24 divided by and 6. So, 24 divided by 6 equals 4. So, the final answer is 4 cm. Kasi ang tinatanong, what is the length of a side of a regular hexagon? 4 cm is the length of a side of a regular hexagon. So, this is the final answer. 4 cm. Okay, guys. So, next question, please. Okay, so dito ta tayo ngayon sa problem number 24. A certain sum of money is shared among Anna, Bert, and Dan in the ratio 5 is to 7 is to 3. If Dan gets 45,000 pesos, how much is the total amount? So, ang ating solution dito, guys, isurat muna natin yung Anna, Bert, And then, si Dan. Okay, ang ratio is 5 is to 7 is to 3. So, si Dan daw ay naka-receive naka ng 45,000. So, ito, 45,000. So, ang tanong, how much is the total? So, ito ay portion pa lang to guys ha. 45,000. Portion pa lang yan. So, para ma-solve natin dito guys, alamin natin ilan ba yung, din ilan ba yung multiply sa 3 kaya naging 45,000. So, i-divide natin siya. Working backwards. 45,000 divided by 3 is 1. 15 divided by 3, 5. So, 15,000. So, ang minultiply dito sa 3 ay 15,000. Kaya na-receive itong 45,000 pesos. So, yun din ang imumultiply natin dito sa 7 tsaka 5. So, 5 ay magiging 5 times 15,000 is 75,000. And then, 15 times 7 is 105,000. So, ang tanong, how much is the total amount? So, ito, peso sign, peso sign. So, ia-add natin siya, guys. Itong tatlong ito, ia-add natin siya. Final answer is, kapag ia-add natin ay 225,000 pesos. This is the total amount of money shared between Anna, Bert, and Dan. So this is the final answer. Again guys, don't forget the unit sign, the peso sign, 225,000 pesos. Problem number 25, last but not the least, how many thousands make a million? So yun lang yung tanong. Ilang thousand daw sa isang million? So, a million. So, one million yung, yung ibig sabihin yan, ha? Okay. So, ganito yun, guys, no? One million divided by one thousand. So, may trick dito, guys. Sa division, is kakancel out natin kung ilan yung common na zero. So, there are zero, three zeros here. So, one 2, 3, makakancel siya. 
Dito din, makakancel din. 1, 2, 3. So, the final answer is 1,000 divided by 1 is 1,000. So, yun na yun. This is the final answer. So, final answer is 1,000. Okay? So, how many thousands make a million? 1,000. Okay, so maraming salamat sa panunod ng video na ito. Kung nagustuhan mo, please like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Learn Math Beach. At kung gusto mo ng ganitong uri ng content, paki-turn on lagi, no? Pagkatapos mo mag-subscribe, paki-turn on ang ating notification bell para lagi kang updated sa ating exciting at mga feature ng mga uploads. Kaya laging tandaan ang ating outro message. Every problem, there is and there's always has a solution. So, love lots, keep smiling, and keep learning. Bye!